Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Dr. Crypto here, and I hope you're all doing well and all geared up, ready, got your bags packed, ready for this alt season. But in this video, I'm going to talk about Crowburns. I'm also going to talk about Crypto.com, Bitcoin and Ethereum, and why I think that we're in alt season right now. But also, I'm going to, towards the end of the video, I'm going to talk what my price target is for also CRO coins. So stick around for that. But like I said, smash that like button and give subscribe. Your support is always much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. You can also follow me on X at DrCrypto76. Give us a follow on there. Be a part of the Crow fam on there and get the word out in terms of CRO. Because the more news and the more people we talk about Crow and the Crow fam and also talk about the Kronos ecosystem, it's better for us. But overall... Congratulations to XRP and the community there. It's looking really fine. We can also see right here that CRO is sitting at around about that 16.4 pence. But also we can see we're up around 13.9, uh, sitting at $5.37 billion. And look at that volume. This is what I like. The volume is sitting at 244 million. We're up 170%. Yesterday morning, Prior to making the video, we're sitting around about just shy of 18 pence. And look what, at midnight last night, I got a notification that we hit just over 20 pence. So overall, you just see these, this is what I mean with CRO. It's one of those coins, you've gone down, but just in a matter of hours, it can just change and it could just shoot up X amount of percent. And we can see the big move that's happened. But we can see here also, this is on the daily, by the way, Cypher B. Money flow started to come up. We've got the trigger wave here pushing towards the upside. But look what happened before. When we've got the two green dots on Cypher B, back in 6th of November of 2024, we had that big move to the upside. And look what's happened again. We're getting another green dot. Are we going to get a second one? And then get another impulse wave to the upside. But the W formation that we've got here is super bullish as well. That generally breaks up to the upside. But what I'm also watching for here, we've got, we're following picture perfect. Look at that. Picture perfectly on the 20 EMA. We've got the 50 EMA and also we've got the 200 EMA as well. And we see what happened before. Back in the 7th of November, we had the same crossover there happened and we moved to the upside. So overall, it's looking super bullish for CRO. But like I said, as long as we just follow that 20 EMA, it's all looking pretty dandy to me. But we can also, like I said, one of the things what I think is going to really, really push the price up as well, it's not just the old season volume, but also when we talk talking about crow burns. Now, when you look at the crow burn here, 150 million, is it really going to make a big price? Here? It's not going to really rocket us up to all-time highs or anything like that. We, we want some significant burns, really. I would like to see, personally, uh, a 5 billion CRO burn or something like that. That's something like that, I think, would actually move the price quite considerably. Because at the end of the day, it's like anything, isn't it? If you bring down the supply down, but you've got the demand there, and the demand is here, and it's more coming in, I think it's going to really rocket up that price as well. But anyway, it's a fiery milestone. You can see it here as well, where the burns have been taking place on the POS chain. But also what I am watching out for as well, if you, I don't know if you've checked out uh, the Kronos chain roadmap, but part of the roadmap is the quarterly burns formula based on price and block size. Now we know BNB does this. Now there's not really any kind of detail about this at the moment, like, so I keep on checking. But it might be you know, going on to the Twitter and just, just pestering them, really, and ask the question, uh, will there be more details coming out regarding this? Because this is something that I think, depending on what they do, could actually make the price move quite significantly up to the upside. And uh, the quarterly burn formula is like what BNB does. And that's why we see a lot of BNB price action. So hopefully we're going to get some more news regarding that. So keep an eye on that because obviously burns uh, are really good for price action. I know some people really don't like them that much, but they are part of the parcel and that. But what I do like, which is not going to really move the price totally for CRO, but it's going to bring people in to the EU system. And that is looking at what CRO has done in terms of, uh, not CRO, Crypto.com has done in volume. Because we know they've done such a lot with the partnerships. We've got the golfing now, we've got the Formula One, UFC, we've had the UEFA Football League as well, which is, you know, in front of 3 billion football fans. Not going to say all of them are going to sign up to Crypto.com, but they're, they could be, some of them could be part of the retail that could be coming in. And this is what's benefiting all those partnerships is benefiting crypto.com because we can see crypto.com at the moment is in that purple area. 
And you can see over time from September, well, actually we could go from July. You can see on the purple here, crypto.com, it's getting bigger and it's getting bigger. And it certainly is starting to pay off for them in terms of volume because we've got crypto.com says here, 283 billion total to in this kind of all these exchanges which is about 2.7 trillion but the for crypto.com it's around about 283 billion dollars so that's nothing to sniff at basically they're getting their money back straight away from these uh partnerships they're doing it's paying off and they and they keep building as well they keep getting these licenses new partnerships keep coming out as well it's looking super bullish for crypto.com. They've got the new roadmap out for 2025. They've got the new level up as well for the crypto.com debit cards as well. So it's worth going to their website, checking out. I love my Icy White card, by the way. Uh, I use it every day. All my shopping, my, my general lifestyle, I'll use that uh, to purchase and get CRO back. So I'm always accumulating CRO through my DeFi wallet, crypto.com debit card, and the earn as well. So and plus... I've got my spot as well. So, yeah, it's all looking good. Really, really confident about Crypto.com. Really confident about the Kronos change and super bullish. But I'll get into the price action towards the end of the video. But what I am watching for is as well is Ethereum. Ethereum is the big boy uh, for the uh, altcoins. And I really want to see Ethereum really make some moves to the upside. Now, I did hold a little bit of XRP. I have sold some of that because obviously what I want to do is I want to put some of that profit into like Ethereum because Ethereum hasn't really moved so much, but I'm expecting it will do very, very shortly. I hope it does anyway, but I've also put some money extra into CRO from the profits of that as well. So that's what I've done. I've rotated it into Things that haven't really, really moved, and which I think is going to make some giga moves to the upside. And CRO and Ethereum, in my opinion, is going to make some big moves because at the moment we've got the 250 and 200 about to cross over, which is super bullish as well. We're following the 20 EMA as well, following up to the upside. So, as long as and we've got money flow coming on on Cypher B as well, which is super bullish. So, I'm, I'm watching Ethereum with very, very close eyes. And we've got Bitcoin as well on the systematic triangle, creating higher highs and higher lows. And basically, I'm waiting for that to move out. We've got money flow coming in as well on the Cypher B. But like I said, we're creating a beautiful area support here when we drop down to that $90,000 push back up to the upside and we're hoping we're going to break out further to the upside and i think this pullback we've had is going to it's pretty good I, I want pullbacks i know some people don't like pullbacks but i want pullbacks because what that will do is that'll push bitcoin back over to that 100k it's like the soldiers isn't it you send them into battle they retreat back all gather back up and then re-attack again and hopefully we'll smash through that uh that 100k mark but also i just want to must mention going back to resistance looking at cro we've got a beautiful support down here at 15 pez but going back to cro again actually look more tests we have of this 20 that 20 pence mark the weaker the weaker the resistance is and more we keep testing it the more we're going to break out of it up towards the upside and that kind of resistance is weakening and weakening every time we test it so just got to bear that one in mind but also, I want to want to look at Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin dominance is breaking down. This is on the daily. Look at that. We're down at 55.9 at the moment. I want it to keep on breaking down. We've got an anchor wave create. Money flow is still coming out. We want to push that even further down because the more this drops down and Ethereum starts to moving up and other alts start moving up, the dominance will keep on dropping. The more that drops, the more hopefully liquidity comes into the altcoins. But what I'm watching also is the USDT. That keeps on dropping. We had that massive bear flag. We've dropped down. We want that to drop down. So when you've got the couple of Ethereum, Bitcoin dominance, USTD dominance dropping, that is when we're starting to get that, that alt season. And alt season is pretty much here because total three, this is on the daily, bull flag, totally broke out of that bull flag. And now we're moving up. We're sitting over $1 trillion in total three. Total three is basically taking away bitcoin and ethereum it's just the general coins the layer ones layer twos meme coins you name it it's all that but obviously we've broken out that and hopefully we're going to keep coming because retail is starting to come back so i'm watching that with very very close eye now looking at the price target for this bull market for cro in my opinion so when we look at cro at the moment this is coin coin perspective if we go to the Leo coin, go to Leo coin. If I just type in Leo coin on this, 
We're about 49% Leo coin. Leo coin is slightly ahead of us. God knows why. It's CRA's not up there, but it is what it is. We're 49% away. Now, what I do think is definitely achievable is the BNB. And that's a 16x from where we are. Given what given what crypto.com's doing, given what the Kronos chain's doing, and if we get these quarterly burns as well, that is going to be absolutely super bullish for CRO. This is what I think we could get to. We could get to between that three to four dollar more at this bull market. I personally think, and I know some people might not agree, but I think one dollar is priced in. I really do straight away. One dollar is very conservative. I think it's quite bearish saying one dollar. We're sitting at 20 at the moment, and an old season is only just beginning. And all the seasons I've been through, and I can always remember some people saying comments, oh no, it's not going to go anything. Oh, it's going to go to about 50 pence, and that's it. Look, I put it out here. I bought I bought Ada at seven cents. We went to two we went to over three dollars on Ada. We went over three dollars. Look where we're sitting at the moment, 20 pence with CRO. Burns, burns coming potentially. We've got what crypto.com are doing, the Kronos chain are building, the retailer coming back, and people are going to come and FOMO in. I really do think CRO, and you're always going to get people who disagree with you. That's all fine. I'm more up for that. But I personally think we're going to go between three to four dollars this cycle. That's my personal opinion. That's where I'm going to go. And to me, that's life changing money. That's money that can make you make buy you a lot, a lot of things. And we're all here. Most of us are here, not for the tech. We're all mostly here for the money. Uh, and I am. That's what I'm here for. So anyway, but I thought I'd give you my price target. That's what I think we're going to go to between that 3 to $4 mark. Like I say, in every video, have a plan. Work out where you're going to take profits from. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to be left at the top when the bull market comes to an end. Because it's nothing worse than seeing all those gains and then they see it all disappear. Uh, you know, you can have winners and losers, and that's the way it is. But like I said, give us a like and give us a subscribe. Your support is always much appreciated. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care.